So with deer season opening up here uh, in a week or so, just finalizing some blind prep. And so what I have here is an access trail. This allows me to get to the back of the blind quietly. And you know, in this area, what we have is pine trees. Uh, there is a few deciduous, but for the most part, it's evergreen. So that makes it a lot easier. So I'm not dealing with having to rake away leaves or anything like that. So I can go right to the back of my blind. And what you might see along with the back of the blind, the door is currently open, but uh, I've got a bunch of slashings from the logging that I built up, and that serves a couple purposes. One, it allows me to leave the blind with deer in the field, and then not having to bump them. People oftentimes say, you know, what's the best way to deal with getting out of a stand or a blind location uh, when you're hunting a food plot and there's deer still in, in that area? Well, you know, there's a lot of different techniques that people have used to bump the deer, but I found that it's a lot nicer to not have to bump the deer at all. So if I do this quietly and with my nice access trail, um, you know, and the right wind, and obviously if I'm hunting that blind, I need the right wind, you know, I could leave that area by closing the front windows, which are just um, some fabric, black fabric, which we'll take a look at here shortly. And just close that, swing open the back door, and between the blind and the berm of basically slashings or you know the logging material left behind, um, I can you know hide my movement, keep my movement quiet, and get out of here with deer still in the food plot. So let's go take a look at the front of the blind, and then I'll show you from um, from the food plot location, I'll close up the window and see if I can actually leave without you seeing me. That's why I'm wearing a bright orange shirt, shirt today. So what I have here is just black fabric and I've got some basic like parachute cord, 550 cord, we called it in the military, but basically some rope on the top and the bottom and that way I can manipulate these windows in order to disappear. And so this one over here, this you know, it was an older one. I just replaced this front side. And realistically, this is probably the only window I'm going to need to have open. And, and I've shot a few deer out of this blind already in the past, so I kind of know, um, you know, what to expect. So that's why, you know, if I close this up, and right now I have the back door closed. But again, if I'm trying to get out of here with deer in the field, what I'm going to do is slowly close this up, and I'm going to be wearing all black. So even without the black, you know, if I get to the back of the blind where I'll actually sit during the hunt, I'm going to kind of blend in, but with a black, black set of gloves, black face mask, black top, you know, I can blend completely away from the deer's visual um, ability to see me as long as I have these other windows closed. If I opened up some of these back windows, you know, then I could be seen a lot easier. But we're going to go ahead and try that see if I can get this window closed and again I would do it slowly when the deer aren't looking and things like that but with this being black and the inside of the blind being black they don't tend to notice it all that much so again I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna walk out my exit trail and then I will loop back around and come around the blind but we'll see if you actually see me do any of this stuff um, and again a deer isn't always going to be focused on the blind like the camera currently is, so we'll give it a try. All right, I'm gonna come back. So hopefully you didn't see me, um, but to me, you know, the black fabric windows don't cost much money. Um, now they're not gonna control your scent like real windows would, but again, if you're hunting 
a blind location with the wrong wind, you're asking for trouble in my, my view anyway. Um, so I've been doing this for a number of years. And again, with my berm, you know, I, I also have some hazelnut. I also have some, you know, natural materials here as well. And I have planted some spruce, but spruce take time. So this is a quick, easy way to keep deer from entering into the field in spots where I don't want them. And again, if, my, if I'm sending my scent that way, I don't want the deer coming from that way to enter the field because I could get winded. So with this blockade, that reduces the odds of them doing that. And it also means I don't have to focus with my windows open in the back. I can focus to the front 